The final of the four meaningful minutes on purpose-driven change is about people. Um, the fourth component in the model of perception plus possibilities plus practice multiplied by people. So with that formula in mind, you can consider the people as the multiplier for the change that you seek to create. So firstly, picking up um, the right people uh, increases your likelihood of changing, right? Being intentional about who you engage based upon your goals. Do you need somebody who will support you, challenge you, guide you, critique you, encourage you, connect you to resources? Whatever the goal might be, different people are going to have different personalities, attributes and knowledge, of course. So nevertheless, with those right people on board, you're going to have a lot of benefit from engaging them in your change process. Firstly, support and accountability. When other individuals, friends, family, colleagues um, or support groups in their behaviour change journey are involved, you gain a lot of emotional support and accountability from that group. There's also the social learnings and norms, right? As humans, we learn in part through observing others. Um, so what is it that someone else is doing or achieving that you want to do or achieve? And what could you model from them going forward? And if there's a peer group or a support group or a group of peers and colleagues, they're also aligned to the same things you're looking to achieve. What can you absorb from those peer norms um, and introduce those, selves, um, those to yourself? Um, obviously benefit from people of varied perspectives, right? We tend to all have our own perspective of looking at things, perspective's the first part of the change model. So involving other people helps you embrace different perspectives which in turn change our perceptions. And the perceptions is what we need to have that may be different to identify different, better or new um, solutions that we might want to implement going forward fourth thing would be just motivation and reinforcement by like having that positive reinforcement from others and praise and rewards and catching the positive celebrating the small wins on your journey you can do it yourself for sure but other people telling you and encouraging you same will give you more energy to keep um, up those good habits and get that change in process um, and learning from feedback but also feed forward the stakeholder centered coaching approach um, that i'm involved with um, which is developed by Marshall Goldsmith, has consistent and timely feedback and fee forward and loads of data on the fact that there's a massively strong correlation between timely, frequent feedback and the likelihood of change. Feedback, obviously, we're familiar with. Feed forward is a similar concept, it's just easier to give because feedback is suggestions of what we can do differently or better going forward, which is something people tend to be more comfortable providing. So the benefits of this stakeholder feedback and feed forward approach, in addition to those four elements above, um, include things like continuous learning, timely agility and adoption of relevant practices, and obviously learning, growing and improving in that process itself. We also benefit from changing the stakeholder perceptions, which is super important for changes to drive their intended impact, because there's always two people at least involved in the uh, change process. So. The other really significant benefit from all of those elements above involving other people is that we are by nature gregarious creatures. None of us live in a vacuum. Most of the change that we seek to impact in the world is going to happen through other people. So in changing our behaviour, the ability for us to inspire, encourage and influence others enables them to change too. So all of the problems in the world at the end of the day come down to human behaviour. So if we can influence and change others for the better by modeling our own best self behaviors, we have the ability to change and influence thousands of people in the world. Ultimately, it all starts with us. It all starts with us actually changing our own behaviors and creating those habits. But involving others in the process not only supports us, but levers the impact we wanna have. It starts with us, amplifies and continues through others. So that's the end of the purpose-driven change um, cycle. Thank you.